opening of h file will not be dangerous. But if y doesn't cancel and play it knight d2, we can go c5. And after queen e2, we can castle. And uh, you can see if, if black castles, if white castles long here, then we can simply go knight c6 or even d6 and knight d7. And we're going to get counterattack on uh, queen side. However, if white castle short side, then we can always take the bishop and later play d6 and knight d7, where we have very comfortable position. Now, once more, we will go in a little slower phase to this, uh, through this opening. It's d4. Knight f6, knight f3, e6, bishop f4, and now we're going, we're playing b6. And after e3, bishop b7, c3, bishop e7, notice that we want to play knight h5 after we play bishop e7, because we want to make sure that when we go knight h5, this bishop cannot hide. So white will not be able to play bishop g5. Actually, here after bishop e7, white can play h3 and save the bishop. Then we are not going to play knight h5. Well, this is a little later, but for now, Let's go with the, the way we just looked at. Bishop d3, knight h5, bishop g3, and we can go with g6. Let's continue with knight d2. We went c5, queen e2. Suppose we castle. And now white eventually has to castle short alongside, and we want to see where white castles. If white castles long, then we're going to go knight c6, followed by rook c8, an easy way to counterattack. You see, we did not take this bishop yet. So white does not have open h file. And then if we go like d5, c4, b5, we probably going to uh, uh, get to white's king first. So if white castle, however, if white castles short, then we take on g3, pawn takes, and we go d6, knight d7, with very comfortable position for black. Okay, now going back, we will try to see what is going to be our plan if we can not get if we cannot get this bishop on g5 uh, dark square bishop of white d4 knight f6 knight f3 e6 bishop f4 b6 e3 bishop b7 c3, as we said, now we don't want to play knight h5 because white goes bishop g5. And you can tell that after bishop takes f3, queen will take on f3. And on queen takes g5, queen takes a8. So we, what we want to do, we go bishop e7. And now black white sees that knight h5 may cost him the dark square bishop, so they play h3. Move, preparing retreat to h2 square if black plays knight h5. Okay, in this case, we go c5. White goes 
knight d2 or bishop d3. Now we can castle and white castles. Now we can go d6, knight d2, knight d7. This is just a simple position which can be evaluated approximately as equal. Either knight d7 or knight c6. Black has approximately equal position. The danger of this opening for black is if black responds, let's look at one of the dangers here. If black responds after d4, knight f6, um, knight f3, e6, bishop f4, and if black responds after b6, e3, bishop b7, c3, with a move like d5, then after bishop d3 and bishop e7, knight e5, and there were some games where white got instant, very strong attack on a black's king side, and bl black got blown away several times. So after knight d2 and g4, h4 here, or even queen h3, and black's king is not very safe. If you play this position, you can play it. But it, you have to be very cautious, very careful, and it's a little bit unpleasant. So that's why we went with the system I just recommended. That's what I recommend. Well, and again, what I recommend is not necessarily the best continuation, but it's the easiest to learn and easiest to play. D4, knight f6, knight f3, e6. Let's look at bishop g5 move. Now, why is this move any better than uh, bishop f4? It's not. It's just different. Idea of bishop g5 is that if black for instance, now goes b6, white can respond with e4. And as a matter of fact, now white does want to play e4. What we want to do, we can play h6 here and see where white's bishop goes. There are two moves here, either bishop h4 or bishop takes f6. The most logical continuation, of course, is bishop takes to f6. After queen takes f6, now um, only justification for white to take on f6 is that they can play e4. Now this position is very interesting. White has very strong center but black has two bishops. Now, what is more important here? Let's look at this position. The recommended way for black to play here is d6. Suppose white goes bishop to d3. Then the best place to put this bishop is on g7. So we play g6, although g5 is a playable move too. But suppose g6, it's safer. And if white goes knight d2, then bishop g7. Now white can either castle king side or try to castle queen side. Now what black should do here? Black should castle the side white castles in. For example, if white castles here, black can castle too. And if white plays queen to e2, the possible continuation for black is knight to c6, followed by bishop d7 and castling. 
and which will give black approximately equal position. Let's look at it. If castle short, black castles, white plays queen e2, and how should black develop these pieces? One and very good way to develop is to b6, bishop b7, and knight to d7 give maximum flexibility. After b6, if white tries to play a4 and a5, then we can respond with a6. And this way, when white plays a5, we can go b5. This position is approximately equal. If white tries e5, we can play queen to e7. And far later, we play bishop b7 and knight d7. Move like bishop e4 can be met with d5, followed by c5 and knight c6. Black's position is very safe, and I actually happen to like this position for black. Now, a little different picture if white plays queen e2. Black may try with knight c6, c3, and bishop d7. Okay, now black, uh, white can try castling long, and then we can castle long also. Not recommended castling short side because after h4 and g4, black's position may become dangerous. So we castle short, long also, as white did, and then we're going to go queen e7 and try to play f5, maybe even g5, g4, maybe even h5, bishop h6. Those are all possible plans for black, and it's like a matter of taste. None of them are bad, or some people of the same strength may like one and the others can like the other one. So this position is very flexible, and I would assess as approximately equal. However, if after knight c6 and bishop d7, white decides to castle short, and we do the same, Later on, we want to continue with e5 and try to put pressure on this diagonal. And if black closes, if white closes the center, then we retreat the knight on e7 or b8 and later play with f5, just like King's Indian defense, where here in this position, Black, uh, white has a deficit of the dark square bishop. It's a very important piece, and white does not have it, which will allow later black to play h5 and bishop h6 and have control on dark, certain dark squares. So this position I would um, recommend for black to play. And if you need a little more information about it, what I would recommend very strongly to get some Karpov's games on this opening. And he played this opening very successfully for black many times against strongest players of the world, in the world. So d4, knight f6, bishop g5, uh, I'm sorry, knight f3, e6, bishop g5, and h6. Now let's look at bishop h4 continuation. What can happen after bishop h4? If white goes to bishop h4, then I would say we should play g5. And after bishop to uh, g3, knight h5, we want to get this bishop. 
This is Grandmaster Damien Lemos here for OnlineChessLessons.net. First of all, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. If you would like to receive more free chess videos from us, you can just click the subscribe button below. I would also highly recommend signing up for my free mail course, The 10 Grandmaster Secrets to Dominate Chess. During this exclusive course from OnlineChessLessons.net, I'll share with you my own Grandmaster shortcuts to effective attacking, defending and growth hacks to improving your chess without um, complicated books or memorization. So sign up by clicking the sidebar on the right and I know you won't be disappointed. Once more this is Damien uh, for OnlineChessLessons.net and I'll see you um, in my videos. Thank you.